Hey guys, welcome to Concept and Coding. This is Shreyansh, and uh, today in this podcast we have Bupendra with us. So I got a message from Bupendra on Telegram that uh, he got placed in Microsoft, and I requested him that if we can have a quick or a small podcast with his learnings and what his strategies for the preparation. So he, that's where he agreed, and today we got a time to uh, have this record this podcast. So thank you, thank you for accepting this invite, uh, Bupendra. Yes, yes, sure. Thank you so much, Sriyans. It's a huge privilege for me to be here with you on this podcast. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It's a privilege for us all. Even so, uh, Bupendra, like uh, let's we will quickly start with the main information which actually uh, all of us we wanted. So can you first give a quick brief information about you, like how many uh, years of experience you have, what company you were working in, what was your tech stack, right? So at least we have a background sense, like what exactly currently you are working. Okay, so like my name is Bhupendra Prajapati. So in total, I have close to three years of experience. So before joining Microsoft, I was working in Make Madrid. Okay. So if you talk about my tech stack, it was mostly Python and Django. Along with that, I used to work on some JavaScript frameworks like Nest.js. But uh, like since college time, I, I was very much interested in Java and its framework. So I used to study about it by my own and mm -hmm. have created some project uh, for that as well. Okay. So like I have applied everywhere for Java only. Oh, like you have recently joined Microsoft, but uh, just going a follow up with that, you're working in uh, Make My Trip. So it's been uh, like how much time you give for preparation, like after uh, with working or after you left uh, Make My Trip and then you started working. Yes, yes. That's a very good question, Sian. So like uh, in January and or Feb starting 2024, I got I got news of my promotion. Oh, awesome. And at the end of Feb, I somehow decided that I need to make a change because of some reasons. So also like for this, I took some time because kya hota hai, kya hota hai ke everybody is reading like somebody moves to this company. Everybody is making change, change to Feng. So everybody wants to make a switch. But since I was already in a good company, so mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure ke agar main change karta hon, I'm going to a place where I do not want to come back. Right. Ah. And I, or I, I do not regret going to a particular company because I have seen that people are making change and they are thinking, okay, my last company was much better, much better than this. So I make a list of companies where I might, I might want to go. Also mm -hmm. made a list of what are the things that should be there in a company where I might want to go. Okay. So, so, what, was first so what are those first quick, any top three, four uh, points which you noted? Yes, so for me, work culture is very, very important. Like in Make My Trip, work, work culture was kind of good. And so like I cannot work in a toxic environment. Yeah. That's what, that was the primary key for me. And second, like uh, while working in Make My Trip, I kind of, I was kind of good in development part. Mm -hmm. Now I wanted to work on distributed system, system design part, mm -hmm. where I can work more toward the architecture part. Okay. Okay. So I wanted to work for a company where they are working on a good scale. Okay. Or, or where I can, I can get to work with teams where they are working on good scale. Mm -hmm. Like in, mm -hmm. if you work for like B2B teams, mm -hmm. their scale might not be that good. Right. Understood. So I kind of like make these kind of lists and also like uh, looking at the market scenarios. Mm -hmm. There are layoffs going everywhere. So I also took that into consideration that oh. their policies should not be like that. If we have to cut off 10% of the employees every year. And how you are identifying this by looking, is there any particular way, uh, like any site where you get all this information or just random Google search? Uh, I mean, so first thing first, like I used to apply everywhere. It's oh. not like uh, if I'm applying somewhere, I'm not, I'm going there, right? Huh, because correct. you mentioned that ke, how I manage my time in preparation. Yes. So yes. time was very, very less while working. So uh, I thought the best way to prepare will be to by giving interviews. Mm -hmm. So sense. any company that approached me or any company that I got a chance, I give their interviews. 
makes sense once i feel like that okay i think i will be able to crack then i used to research about it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i used to connect with linkedin oh. i used to search lead code what people are saying about them yes yeah, so coming to preparation part like uh active preparation time was very less right mm. because you will come by 8 pm from office then you will have to take your dinner and all and go to sleep by the time right so what what i used to do whenever i have time lot let's say i'm traveling or let's say i'm just sitting somewhere so i used to read about interview uh, experiences of other people on lead code or on medium okay. right and i used to make some points okay, okay these are the questions that that have been asked and maybe i need to prepare prepare these questions so i used to write down those in the notes mm -hmm. and when i when i used to come home so now i'm not researching what what to read right i'm just focusing on reading or mm -hmm. studying so i just used to dive down in those points or those questions or those materials so also tell me one thing before i goes to like okay how you join, uh, got, get the companies and this one question as suddenly which comes to my mind is as you said when you come to office by 8 pm and then very less time one question which comes to me uh, and during whenever I go live stream, I get a lot of questions is when we are doing full time job, right? How to apply for how to give interviews a company because companies interviews also happening during Monday to Friday. You are also working between mm -hmm. Monday to Friday. You are coming at 8 p.m. No other companies also not uh, working after 8 p.m. Right. So and weekend there is no interview. So how how to manage this part? Yes, so this was a huge problem for me as well. And I like, uh, I have a interview because of this only. So, what I used to do, I used to sometime, I used to schedule interviews at 9 30. And that day, I used to go late in office around morning, 9, uh, morning 9 30. Okay, morning 9 30. But that is also like a little difficult, right? Mm -hmm. Most of the companies want around 1 or 12 or like those beautiful slots right yeah so that is also difficult but nowadays if you see many companies are getting their interviews done through some external agencies like mm -hmm. war razor and all so they are scheduling interviews in the night time or or also on the weekend so that is a good part right and some companies are like uh, going by hiring drive so mm -hmm. generally their hiring drive is on friday Okay. So that day you can take a leave maybe because yeah. all of your interviews will be conducted on the same day. Same day itself. This only, I want to add one more thing. Like I was going for phone pay interview. So mm -hmm. I gave my first interview, but for second interview, I think second or third interview round, it got rescheduled around four to five times. Okay. Because, because of, the of this only, the, Yeah. Yes. And at the end, I joined Microsoft and then they called me, are you interested? Then I said, but okay. what, what, what you will suggest to engineers who cannot afford to uh, mess with the timings, like office is also important, let's say. And timings is also, they can't, uh, they are on a very, very like, hey, I need to join one company. This lot of, I can't miss a lot of opportunities. Is there, you think, can be a better way that, okay, if we did this, we can manage, balance both. I should not take a leave because let's say if you are taking, if you are applying for 10 companies, right, then 10 times leave, it's sometimes it's difficult, right? Every Friday and mm -hmm. every Thursday. And also it's not possible 9.30, like only out, out of 10, only one or two companies say only 9.30 a.m. So this yes, yes. restrict to a very less bucket into part mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm just thinking like uh, is there a better approach to handle this scenario where like we will not uh, miss out the more opportunities plus also existing companies doesn't feel like yes i'm taking a lot many leaves or like this i am coming too late in the office so that's my yes. i'm just thinking out loud i don't know the answer yet but i'm just thinking if yes. you have something on top of your mind even I don't have an exact answer, but what I did to make it better, let's say I'm appearing appearing for like three, four companies. Mm -hmm. So they might have interviews in next in the next week. So what I did, I used to schedule all rounds of all the companies on the same day. So like I'm not wasting three, four days, right? So I took a leave for one day only. 
and mm -hmm. I am appearing for all the companies on the same day. Okay. Right. Also, that like I one request we made to the HR that uh, schedule it all in the one day. No, no. Let's say you are appearing for three companies, mm -hmm. and they oh, have got interview it, in the yes. So all three different companies, let them have in a one day itself. Well, yeah, that is very yeah. good point, man. That is, so only in one day yeah. it should be all. Yeah, yeah, it should be all. And yeah. also, like generally, what what HRs do, they will like send you a slot, and maybe at the last time they will cancel it. You have already taken a leave, and now they have cancelled the interview. Mm -hmm. So it is always better to like, uh, like tell them that you are taking leave and all, and how important it is to like get that interview done on that on day only, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. also cross check maybe one or two day before interview. Is yeah. this fixed or any chance that it can get rescheduled? Yeah. Right? Correct. So yes. uh, when you uh, said that you note down uh, topics, like what are the, so in that topics, can you just summarize what are the important things which engineers should consider? Because you might yeah. have given interviews, you have written notes, but if, no, okay, you are not following any path, like, but at least can you summarize this? Okay, whatever I have written, it falls into mm -hmm. this category, at least for me, that mm -hmm. these are the uh, topics which engineers should focus on. They like, okay, they do ask DBMS, they do ask OS, they what like what exactly the topics. Okay, so I will uh, explain it from perspective of SD2, like three years engineer. So generally there are four kind of questions. First is like DSA, second LLD, then HLD, and then your project, project. right? So coming to DSA, so I have broadly divided DSA into a few categories. Like first was recursion. So if you like make your this strong recursion is strong, then you will be able to solve question from trees or backtracking graph and some questions of greedy approach as well. And along with your DP topic will be strong. So this is one of the very important topic, right? And along with that, let's say if you have a uh, covered link list, then this is also going to help you in trees, link list, and also link list in itself is very important. Yes. So I have broadly divided DSA into few, few categories. And I used to practice some important problems that might cover more than one topics. Mm -hmm. Right, so that I'm solving one problem only, and but I am able to touch more than one topics, right? Okay, correct, correct. So recursion with recursion itself, you are practicing linked list and also more than one. So from which platform you are practicing? Mostly on lead code. Okay. Yes, yes. Got it. And coming to LLD, so and like before my coming system... to that, uh, mm -hmm. so let's say some topics you are not clear. So mm. is there a resource which books or something where you are following to learn those resource? Yes. So, I mean, I prefer reading more than watching videos yeah. because I do not have time to dedicate it. Leave watch videos because reading could be done anywhere. So, which so book? I used, I haven't referred any book. I used to read articles mostly on GFG or lead code maybe some someone have written something on lead code so maybe that that only maybe solution part in the solution part of lead code candidates have explained things very well right? yeah i mean along with reading in the dsa let's say there is a topic where which i am not able to understand why reading so i then used to go by some videos so those were like mostly random videos i used to search on youtube whichever has most views i used to watch that uh, regarding dsa yeah, on DSA. Okay, got it. Now, yes, coming to LLD or system design, design in generally. So, so like in DSA, I was kind of good because in the college time also I preferred DSA, but system design, I was zero. So okay. like I explained that I was preparing while giving interviews. Yeah. So I used to clear DSA round even like I was, I started with like normal companies, which used to ask easy questions. So I used to easily clear the DSA round, but I generally used to fail in that system design because I didn't know how to explain only, right? Forget the like correct explanation. I did not know what to say. Now they have asked me a question now, what to explain, mm -hmm. right? Because system design problems are really broad problems, right? Okay. If you do not know the correct, correct way to explain, then you will not cover the explanation in one hour, right? So that was the first problem that I faced. And for LLD, honestly, I referred your channel only. 
and that have been very useful. Before coming to your channel, I tried many other things because I did not know that something like this exists in, in the universe. Then one of my friends told me about your channel. Then I have gone through all of your videos and that those videos have been very, very helpful to me. Yes. And after watching your videos and practicing few problems that have been asked in interview experiences and are not part of your videos, I was able to clear mostly all the LLD round of all the companies. I haven't failed in any LLD round after that. Awesome, man. Thanks for that. And also, man, like one request, like uh, maybe one question which you might have faced in an interview, uh, we can also solve it together also. So that that I will also get from like, okay, these type of the interview questions can get and uh, mm -hmm. you can solve it based on your experience. Yes. So, so After that, I was facing difficulties in HLD part. <laughs> like now I have prepared for LLD. Now I felt like HLD is much more difficult than that, than LLD. So again, I had no clue how to prepare. So there is a book, very famous book, everyone know, I guess it is Alex Sue, right? So I have gone through that book. In that book, there is a very, like, there is a very good explanation of how to approach a HLD problem. Mm -hmm. So I followed that pattern. And somehow I, I used to, like, explain few things in HLD part. But again, I used to stuck in many things. So, like, there are topics like indexing databases that are not there in the book. And generally, they are very important topic from right. interview perspective right so then again i watched few videos like for indexing i watched your videos and for uh yes uh, for database choices and all i you watched your videos and some other resources wherever i found find them Hello. after that my hld part is also was also good like this project discussion comes into the last part which is managerial round right yeah. So they are, they are not going to ask about coding and how exactly you coded for a particular pro problem in your project. They will be mostly interested in what kind of challenges you faced, how over, how you overcome those challenges, right? Those kind of situation. At most, if they will go into the technical details, they will ask the architecture of your system. Mm. So what were service, how different services interacted with each other, right? Correct. All those kinds of things. Okay, now uh, last part which i have so understand your preparation strategy and uh, the, the the way you are learning topics how you are learning it the last part is how you are bringing the company and before that uh guys like uh the linkedin profile of bupendra and the resume format which he followed so overleaf resume format i am putting into the description section you can check it out and also you can uh, connect with Bupendra for any further questions which I might have missed or you have differently. Uh, you wanted to clarify uh, privately with him. You can direct message him. And, but uh, he has shared the resume format. I am putting into the uh, description section. You can check it out. With that being said, I'm just moving to the last part of this video. Like how you bring the companies, like uh, what are the resources yes. you followed <laughs> and you bring the companies in? Yes, Sriyans, actually, I feel this is one of the very difficult part for most of us, given the market condition we are in now. So uh, first, I will explain the statics. So I have applied for around 300 companies. I got call back from around 50. Okay. Yes, and I have actively given interviews around 20 to 30 and was able to crack around four to five. Okay, nice. So this was the statics and coming to platform, I followed Nokri and then InstaHire and LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. So most of the call that I got was from LinkedIn only, but I feel like they came to my LinkedIn profile after visiting might be Nokri or InstaHire. Okay. Few, few of them directly got to my LinkedIn profile from LinkedIn only. So like I tried everything that is possible in the universe because I did not know what could work and what could not work. Right. So even I was trying some other application that are not that famous, but they were not working that much. So no, so that you said you applied 300 companies, how like, uh, is directly to their portal or this 300 is also like a rip. So how you are identified, there is an opening. 
and then how you yes. are so first thing like i am using linkedin all the time i was using linkedin all the time so like when when <clears throat> like when there is a opening at any company i used to make sure that i am able to know about it within a day only so mm -hmm. that i am the first mover right so i am apply i am able to apply on that day only so let's say there is a opening in a company and i got to got to know about there so i used to visit their career page mm. and got got less few more few like job id which are suitable, suitable as per my experience in tech stack tech stack generally i did not look that much mm -hmm. but let's say it is a front end job then obviously, obviously that i that will not work for me and after that i used to search connections for that company and i used to message them so also one point i want to add here like the way you message for a particular person is also very important because i personally have seen that some people will message me hi my name is this is there yeah. any opening in your company if it is then please refer me if you message like this nobody is going to respond and nobody is going to take you serious because nobody have time to search for a job id for you exactly. and then will then refer for you right exactly. so you will first have to search a job id that is suitable for you then you will have to make sure that you are not writing your about yourself in paragraphs right write as short as possible try to make some personal touch and mention few important points that are a part of your resume or maybe your personality yeah and send so your writing a very story. well drawn uh, cold message also is important you are saying so so you yes, are yes, applying definitely. for some companies you are applying to directly career portal so once you apply to the career portal also you can get a referral out of it no right you can only do one or you can do also both uh, no, actually, once you apply, generally, it will fall into a duplication. Uh, have you made any changes in resume? This thing was missed, uh, missed up. That's why I was not getting the interviews and all. Let me change it. And after that, you start getting uh, calls. Anything? I mean, I have been making changes in my resume almost every week because every time I used to look at my like I every time I feel rejection or every time I used to look at my resume, I felt okay, this is not the good thing. I need to remove it or maybe I need to add something, right? So I have been doing this whole whole the time. Okay, so any right. top three changes which you have done? So uh, first thing was like I was using a two column format of okay. the resume. And so okay. first I updated that because that was not the good one I felt. Yeah. And second thing, I use this standard format because even after that, I was using the single line format, but the order I was, I was using, like first I was using project, then experience and then okay. something else. Proper so that ordering. was not the proper ordering, ordering that I have done. And then mostly I used to change, make changes in my skills only okay. because let's say I have I'm applying for a Java, then I will put and, Java and then got it. So thanks. Thanks for sharing a lot more useful information with us, man. Like, so I am done from my side. Like, do you have anything which you would like to share before we uh, cut this call? Yes. So thank you so much, Sirians, first thing. And second thing, like, like I mentioned my uh, preparation strategy that I used to give interviews and then used to learn whatever is missing in my part. So someone might ask, yeah, I'm not getting an interview call. Then how can they prepare by this strategy? Mm -hmm. So what I used to do, let's say I, I used to make sure that I'm getting some interview calls in every week so that mm -hmm. I can learn from something, learn something from them. But in case uh, there is nothing like this in a particular week, then I used to contact some of my friends or someone on LinkedIn and I used to give mock interview. Okay. And that helped a lot to me. And okay. obviously right. reading interview experience is of great help, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now this is yeah, so my it, tip, like the mock interviews. If you don't have any interview schedule, so keep mm -hmm. giving the, at least some kind of mock interviews itself so that uh, mm -hmm. you have some confidence built up already. Definitely. Yes. So, so, okay. Apart, let's say if friend circle is not big, right? Mm -hmm. Because many engineers are working from home, like from last couple of years. So is there a different platform or a way to search like who are engineers are taking the mock interviews? Do you know anything like that? 
yes there are few platforms but i haven't used any of those like mm -hmm. there is e place or something right mm -hmm. and there is pramp so i i already have few people which i am coordinating with like i was also taking their interviews and they were taking mine so it was like mutual okay. Mutual. Yes. Okay. Nice, nice. And definitely I'm saying like after this call, maybe you get some requests from mock interviews also. <laughs> you can also help yeah. to do that also. Cool. Even yeah. now I am helping few of awesome. my friends in, in mock interviews. Hey, awesome. And thanks. Uh, definitely it, it would, uh, thanks for doing that. Like it's uh, really helpful for other engineers also. Yeah. Yes, sure. okay. I will be happy to help. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, man. Thanks again.